Hello, in this video, I want to go over the differences between trying to plot points in two dimensions and three dimensions. So let me begin. Um, the first thing you need to be, um, yeah, you're all familiar with the idea of if I want to plot a point in two dimensions, I have an x-axis that looks like this and a y-axis that looks like this. Um, we can call those the positive x and positive y directions, and we can extend our y-axis into negatives um, and our x-axis into the negative um, region. So if I wanted to plot the point, um, let's just say 2, 1, uh, we would go 2 in the x direction, which is actually means our distance from the y-axis is 2. And we would go up 1 um, in the y direction, which is a distance of 1 from the x-axis. So um, that will give us a, um, you know, our point on the, uh, the Cartesian coordinate system. But what if I had a point that was, you know, uh, let's go with Q, that was two, one, negative three, okay? Um, that would allow us to put that point in three-dimensional space, right? Um, it would be two in the X direction, one in the Y direction, but then we have our third direction, which is um, the Z direction. Um, so this would be our X, Y, and Z coordinate, right? Um, well, the problem is we have a two-dimensional page. So trying to put a three-dimensional point on a two-dimensional page um, is a little bit tricky, all right? So we need to come up with a new set of axes. Um, obviously, the Z axis would be out of the plane of the page. The X, Y axis that I've drawn are in the plane of the page. Um, so the Z axis would either be pointing out towards us, which it turns out the positive um, Z axis is, or away from us. That would be the negative Z axis. Um, but to draw this, okay, we, need, we need to do things a different way. So let me come over here and draw a three-dimensional axis. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw my X axis this way and my Y axis this way and a rotation of the X into the Y axis using a right hand would give us a Z axis going this way, right? So now how would I point, uh, plot the point two, one, negative three? Well, I would come out two units in the X direction, which would be about that far, okay? Um, there's a perspective shift so notice I've made like two little marks in the X direction. And then you need to go over one unit in the Y direction. So that would be over, so we would go two in the X direction, one in the Y direction, and then negative three in the Z direction would be one, two, three downward. So I could draw that down there and let me put a nice bright red point right there. Okay, um, now it's kind of hard to see what this looks like. Um, it's, you know, we're, we're just trying to see something in three dimensions um, on a two dimensional piece of paper. Um, to really see what it looks like, you'd have to be able to change your perspective. That's how we know um, how we get three dimensional perspective. We use both of our eyes um, to see the same thing from two different angles, or if something's further away as we move around, um, we can see how it shifts uh, against its background. Um, so it's a little bit futile to try to plot um, on a static graph, um, three-dimensional points, um, but that's basically how we can do it. Okay, so you'll notice um, how I drew the X, Y, and Z axes. Uh, let me do another point. Let's do R. Um, let me, let me let, well, Q will be red. Um, let's switch over to blue. And R will be, um, let's go with um, negative one, uh, three comma two. Okay, so that will be the point R. Okay, so back to white, what would negative one look like? We would go back in the negative X direction, sort of one unit, um, kind of estimating what that would look like. And then I'm going to go over one, two, three units in the Y direction. Okay, so it'd be about there. And then I have to go up one, two units in the Z direction, kind of estimating what that would look like. And so the point R is back there. Okay, it's, um, uh, so you can kind of picture it. Um, it's a little bit easier maybe if this plane, the XY plane were drawn in. 
okay? Um, but uh, you, you can maybe see it a little bit better, um, but that would require to be able to do some shading. Um, and so you would be able to see that the red point is down below the XY plane and the blue point is above the XY plane. Um, and it, it's hard to do with just pencil and paper. If you have a 3D graphing program, uh, we can make it look much better, okay? Uh, we also could have, you know, there's, a, there's a line we could draw in three-dimensional space um, that would connect PR, the line segment, okay? We can just straight line it, uh, did a pretty good job there, um, connecting those. Um, and, you know, once again, it's kind of hard to see what that looks like relative to the axes um, in a static graph, but that would be the line P, R, um, right there. Um, it's run reasonably well um, for trying to do it on a flat piece of paper. Um, you just simply can't do justice to a um, three-dimensional object on a flat piece of paper unless you start looking at it from multiple angles. All right. Um, so continuing on. Those are points on a, uh, you know, in a 3D plane. Um, I want to go over something else here. What would um, the following look like? Okay, I want to look at what does x equal two look like in 2D versus 3D. Right. So if we start with our 2D axis, there's my x-axis. Here's my positive y-axis, all right? And x equals two means that it, it counts every point that is two units in the x direction, okay? In two dimensions, that means, you know, we're over along this line, we're two away from the y-axis in the x direction um, at all of these points. So this line is the line x equals two. So x equals two gives us a vertical line. If I said y equals two, it would be a horizontal line, two units above the x-axis. Um, it would be two units in the y direction. Um, but what does that look like in 3D, right? Well, in 3D, um, there would be a lot of points at x equal two that aren't just on a line, okay? Turn that it would form a plane of points. So let me put my 3D axes in. Um, so x is this way. Y is that way, and Z is this way to give me a right-handed coordinate system, X, Y, and Z, all right? And we would need to have sort of the collection of points that are two units, one, two units away um, from the X and Y, um, the X, Y plane, okay? But the problem is like you have a line of points that are parallel to the z-axis. You would also have a line of points parallel to the y-axis. And then any points that are in this plane could be two units from the x-axis. You could have, think of like just a sheet of paper up there. Um, it could easily be two units away from the x and the y-axis. Uh, I'm sorry, the y and the z axis, okay? So x equals two means we're two units, not from x, I'm sorry, not from y or z, but two units from the y, z plane, okay? And if you look at the collection of points that are all two units away from the y, z plane, that's a plane parallel to the YZ plane. So the result is a plane that is parallel to the YZ plane. Okay. Um, and so it, it's, a, it's another plane that is, happens to be two units moved in the X direction. Um, and um, in parallel to the YZ plane. So if I had the equation Y equals three, that would now be parallel to the, it would be three units from the XZ plane. 
Okay, so X and Z would form a plane. You could think of it. This is almost when you look at the X, Y, Z um, axes, it's like you're looking in at the corner of a room. Okay, um, so there would be uh, the X, Z plane would be the kind of a sidewall there. Um, you would have a plane that is three units away um, from that sidewall, and it would kind of be like another wall of points um, that is three units away from that sidewall. Okay. So once again, we're kind of limited in what we can do without a 3D graphing program. Um, the beauty of if you have a 3D graphing program is as you rotate your perspective, um, our brain can actually see the, the 3D image emerge. Um, we can only use tricks of perspective um, to try to draw um, 3D points and um, lines and planes on a two-dimensional sheet of paper. 